if you have wide set eyes. Here's an eyeshadow technique to make your eyes pop. Wide set eyes, you are so lucky. You can wear absolutely anything and smoky eyes look amazing on you. Now, both of these models, they just have dark shadows going across the lid on the top and on the bottom. That is perfect for wide set eyes. However, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna create a halo effect and we're gonna have shadows here towards the tear duct and then here on the outer corner of the eye. That's just gonna make your eyes look a little bit closer together. Perfect for wide set eyes. Let's do it together. This look is super easy. Anybody can recreate it and it's just so easy for every day. Seriously, it only takes three products. So one eyeshadow stick, one eyeliner and one mascara. You can use any colors for these. I just chose to use something that's a cream, a brown and then black mascara. That's it. Wide set eyes, you're super lucky because you can literally do anything and a smoky eye looks amazing on you. Now, you can keep it super simple. You can just do one dark shadow all the way across the lid and underneath the lid, just like both of the models had stunning every single time but today we're just going to do something super easy you just need one eyeshadow stick and one eyeliner that's all you need to complete this look i have nothing on my lid at the moment and i'm just going to take my little eyeshadow stick this is in a lighter color than my skin tone and i'm just going to go all around my eye like this and then underneath oh yeah super easy Take any type of blending brush that you might have. I'm just going to wipe that one off and just blend it out just like this all the way around. Oh, yeah. So easy. Now, the main goal that we have for this look is to make our eyes look closer together. I personally have close set eyes. So my main goal every day is to make my eyes look farther apart, make my kind of temple area look like it's wider than it actually is because it's very narrow so today instead of doing something just dark on the outer corner of the eye we're going to do darker on the inner corner as well so it's going to bring your attention to this area right here it's going to make the eyes look closer together easy easy and you only need two products to do oh three products including mascara i always forget mascara okay so we did that now take your eyeliner and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to line right here Okay, and then just for symmetry, so you don't look like you just have two dark areas here, like close to your nose and underneath your brow, I'm gonna do it on the outside as well, just like this. Now take your little smudgy brush, just like this, and then I actually like to just close my eye a little bit, and then I just pull that color up, so it's coming up like this, and just towards the center of my eye, but not going all the way to the center. See that? See how it created just that little bit of shadow, but you didn't even have to use a shadow. It's so easy. Okay, we're gonna do the end too. And sometimes in the end, I just go back and forth. Smudgy, smudgy, smudge. Smudgy, smudgy, smudge up like this. Just creating a little bit of a triangle. Oh yeah, so easy, so easy. So it creates a little bit of like a halo eye. So you have some still lighter space here just above the pupil and then on either side, it gets darker. One more step. Top is done. So now we just do the bottom. So I'm gonna take the same thing and I'm just gonna go here. And you can use any colors for this. If you wanna use black, you can. I'm using an espresso color, which is like a black brown. I say it's so brown, it looks black. It's super dark, okay? Just like that. Smudgy brush, same one. Just go like this. Again, go towards. I go down just a little bit, just to make it a little bit smoky, but you don't have to. You can keep it really close to the lash line. And then this one, same. Pull it out. Blend it up whatever you have to do now let's just tight line around add mascara done done can't stop tight lining okay literally so good and because i want the attention to go inward i'm going to tight line all the way around oh i've got some of my lashes and then on the bottom i'm gonna go all the way around like this
add mascara and you're done. Seriously, this look is so easy. It doesn't take any longer than your normal makeup would. You're just focusing the darkness here and then a little bit on the edge as well. You don't even have to do the edge. Or like I said, you can just do full dark all over the entire lid because it's still going to create a lot of focus point coming here towards the tear duct. So that's an easy way, super easy way. Mascara is on. Now you can always make it more pigmented. You can make the darker spots darker if you want, if you want a more pronounced kind of halo eye if you're doing it for that sort of look. But if you're just keeping it subtle, you just want that optical illusion, I think this is the right amount of shadow because it doesn't make you look like you have dark spots here. It just gives that subtle definition. Love it. Honestly, still even love it for my close-set eyes too. I think it looks stunning. Super easy. If you have wide-set eyes and you try this technique, please, please let me know if it works for you. Anybody else, if you try it and love it, please let me know. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Love you.